Welcome, freshmen! It's your first day of high school. Are you excited or are you excited? Well, you should be really excited. What's up, um, I'm Zeppi. I graduated last year, class 13, and was starting that class. There is a lot of things to really take into consideration and really remember. High school is only four years, or three years, or however long it really is for you guys. Maybe someone's super smart, I don't know. But just remember that it is only four years, and life does go on. There's so much that happens, not in the four years, but beyond the four years. Yeah, oh, get to class on time. I suggest that you actually challenge yourself in high school, like take honors classes if a regular class. I just would rather see someone with a 3.0 GPA filled with honors classes than someone with a 4.0 GPA who just took normal classes their whole high school career. When you're a freshman, don't worry about your career choice. I mean, think about it, but don't stress about it. I think I made that mistake, and I focused too much on one thing when I could have been focusing on the entire journey of going to high school. Say don't be late because you get a lot of points in the law. You should really work hard at least at your first two years of high school because it'll make it a lot easier for you to keep your grades up for your junior and senior years which is when you'll probably be really busy um, scrambling for colleges and working on your SATs and AP exams and so on. Be open-minded and be social. Don't be afraid to be yourself. I wasn't a 4.0 student, but I did keep a good, I think it was 3.0 average, something around there. Kept good grades. Make friends with your teachers. Don't be the weird kid though, but you know. You're going to want teacher recommendations, trust me. Very important thing in classes is to respect your teacher because you don't want to be that person that disrespects them all the time and makes fun of your teacher. You don't have to make sarcastic, really obvious questions just to irritate your teacher and everyone else. Always be on time and do your homework. Don't slap off. So stay on it and make sure you do all your work no matter what because it really adds up in the end even if you get only half of it done half the half the points it's something rather than nothing yeah don't be late because he docks off points for that yeah just come to class that's all i have to say that's all i have to say when i study i like to find somewhere really relaxing and very isolated learn how to take notes because in college you know just get used to it because um, in college you're probably gonna, or oh, not really probably, you're gonna take a lot of notes, so. Be focused on what you're doing. Don't have side distractions. And try to at least keep a GPA above a 3.5, even if it's at least for the first two years of high school, though you should probably keep it up even after those first two years, because it'll really help you out in the long run. I like to color coordinate things. Um, it's easier for me to remember what I study when things are visually appealing to me and um, I think colors just help me organize my thoughts. It's good to have fun but you need to make sure you stay on track. Like set up limits and study a lot. Just make sure that you don't slack off in school because it will really hit you in the end. So good at procrastinating. When it comes to procrastination, a lot of people will tell you things like don't procrastinate, never procrastinate, but procrastinating is something that's pretty much inevitable because there will be a time where you'll have too much on your plate and you can't do everything all at once. But it's all about learning to prioritize things the right way and deciding what you think you should do first and what would really help you get to where you want to go and where you want to be in the future. You should really focus on staying on track and not 
procrastinating because that was my biggest problem. Just don't do it. I know it's it's easier said than done, but everyone who's telling you here not to procrastinate, we're telling you that because we do it and we have done it and we know the bad results from procrastinating. Life is so much better if you get things done and out of the way. And it's not bad to procrastinate, but try to keep it minimal and to a point that you can manage and as long as you have a backup plan to everything and as long as you are determined to your goals and sticking to um, working hard towards your goals, and then you'll be fine. It's so fun. It's like a week where everyone gets together and just gets really close for the sake of competition and rivalry. And it's just so fun and everyone gets so pumped. There's just the best energy ever. You have to do the craziest things and it's really fun actually. Like you bond with your class and it's like competition between other classes. So that makes it more exciting. It's literally the best week of high school. Everyone looks forward to it. And if you don't look forward to it, you should. Dress up. Dress up for the days such as... Nerd Day. Pajama Day. Forest Day. Grandma and Grandpa Day. Dress like the elderly. Way you Friday Pride, Pride Day. day. Have a lot of spirit. Like, when it comes to spirit, you need to go all out. The very first day of high school with everyone else, scream your butt off because you'll be in assembly and seniors, will, it will be their fourth time doing the screaming contest. You want to scream at the top of your lungs. You don't want to take anything else but losing your voice. You want to lose your voice. We did so good our screaming contest. Yeah, because we all had high-pitched voices like you guys do. I believe in your high-pitched voices. I enjoy Spirit Week. How often is it that you're going to dress up like a nerd or dress up like something ridiculous? Enjoy it. Guys, don't be embarrassed about your high-pitched voices. You finally have something to use them for. But don't worry. In like a year, you'll get your man voices that you want. It may be a little weird the things that they make you do, but you should do it because you're going to get a lot of points and you're going to have a lot of fun in the making and lots of memories. Paint your face, wear blue and white, and funky clothes, have fun with your friends, participate in the activities, make everyone proud, and beat as many classes as you can. You want them to be scared. Make them scared. If you don't like Spirit Week, then just go to a different school. You will not find a school with a better Spirit Week than ours. When it comes to Spirit Week, go all out. Like, be super crazy. <laughs> and have fun and just enjoy Spirit Week. Scholarships, apply for as many as you can. How to apply for applications, learn how to speak for yourself on applications, learn how to write a resume, learn what to put on a resume, learn how to dress for a job um, interview, learn how to speak at a job interview. All of those things and all of those details are super super extremely important to know when you are looking into a job, which you will be. For you, those of you who are planning to go to college, hope each and every one of you are, get bank. There's four more years, five years, no worry. <laughs> well, a very important thing to remember while preparing for your future is your standardized tests that you'll be taking, such as the ACT and the SATs. Apply for scholarships early. Um, even if you're too young for a certain scholarship or the scholarship hasn't opened up yet, just constantly check up with the scholarship. Um, usually websites, even if you can't start to apply yet, they already have the criteria that you need to apply for it, so you can just start early. You have to write an essay or if you have to get a whole bunch of recommendations, have different qualifications, make sure you can do as many as you can. Once you're a senior and it's like halfway through the year and you know where you want to go and you've applied to school, you suddenly realize that 
you have this huge tuition payment due and you haven't even applied for scholarships and that's probably the mistake I made and I wish I would have applied for more scholarships and I applied for them and wish I applied for them earlier. Those little scholarships that are $500, $1,000 or even less than that, they all add up in the end and they can save you a lot of money. Scholarships will help you so much and it may seem annoying, you may get the denial letters <laughs> like I did. It's um, it's frustrating, but you have to persevere. You have to. It's so worth it in the end. We like citizenship because we, we pop pop, 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 we pop, 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 we pop, pop, pop. Look at that. This is a fail. I know. I know. I know. I know. The good thing about assigned seats is that at first you're like, ew, I don't want to sit here, I want to sit next to Grisella. And Grisella's like, ew, I want to sit next to Lauren. But, but you realize that by sitting next to all these other people, this is how you really bond and meet them and become one. Sitting here assigned seats. Because Gio, Gio and Nasi always used to get busted. Those two. But anyways, uh, love you guys though. You two are the best. Another one, Gio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gio, Make potlucks. Potlucks are fun as long as everyone brings food. Okay. Make sure to bring vegetarian food for potlucks because Mr. Steiner doesn't eat meat and bring a lot of food when we have potluck because no one does that. SIPA is the best, most memorable class you will probably ever take in high school, at least. Okay, uh, guys, uh, cherish every moment you have with your Ohana SIPA class because <laughs> one week from now, or a couple of days from now, I'll be graduating with my SIPA Ohana class, so... You may hate each other, you fight, argue, but at the end of the day, kids are all on us. So cherish every moment you spend because after high school, you won't see them again. Or maybe you will, but not as often like every day in high school. And it'll be hard. It'll be hard. It'll be boys. Everyone else will probably be saying it's literally an ohana. Everyone has that connection, and everyone knows that it's okay to go to your. Ohana and share with them, share your problems, be able to just really connect. And I really hope that you all will be able to do that. Not until your senior year do you realize how much you really love all these people and how and how sad you're all going to be since you're all going to different places. It's like it's the most bittersweet moment ever. You're so you're so sad that you're gonna leave these people that you've been with every single day for four years, but you're also so happy that everyone is going out, doing what they want to do, and trying to become everything they want to become. The best things about people is you not only know how to be independent, but you know how to work with other people, and you make great friends for like a lifetime. So yeah. Play football this year or something. Um, my boy Nas is going to Oregon State because. Switch. One week from now, we'll be graduating and we might not even see each other because we're going to different states, so just yeah. remember that. You gotta cancel that part. But hustled. Um, I'm going, I'm at Ventura. Gio's at Cerritos. I don't know. <laughs> Can't cancel that part too. Treasure your time with everyone in SIPA and because they're all your ohana and just become really good friends and don't don't waste a second trying to get away from all of them because we all get annoyed with each other but we're like brothers and sisters and we don't even want to leave each other. We have like a Facebook chat and we talk to each other all the time still telling each other that we miss each other and it's sad. I didn't realize how close my Ohana, or actually the entire school, but especially my Ohana, my Sipa, and Steinem, how supportive and how loving and how 
truly it was my second Ohana. It was my place that I could cry, it was my place that I could get support, and it was my place that even though we weren't necessarily friends outside of class, in this class we were like sisters and brothers. And it's just important to take that into consideration. But really it's it's a lot more when you put up a Christmas tree, you decorate the room for holidays and participate together in events and you plan your own things, you get really close to everyone, comment on what everyone else thinks, figure things out together. It's it's a lot of fun and I suggest that you really try and get to know everyone and Steindom is there to do that too because he is the one that brings everyone together and he was literally the one that brought our class together. So have fun in SIPA. Don't just think of it as just a silly class to just get by. Penny <laughs> Mansman. <laughs> ironic that we use an English football song as our graduating theme. <laughs> Always kind of seemed odd to me.